welcome my name is olive so this yoga class is going to be a gentle and grounding kind of sequence we're going to spend a bit of time lying down on our back to start with slowly building it up to some kneeling positions but yeah it's just a time to perhaps really ground yourself in your practice in your body and in your mind so we'll take it nice and slow in terms of equipment if you would like please feel free to grab yourself a yoga brick or a pancake or a chunky book Another really nice option is to maybe grab a pillow. So yes, I will see you and we'll start lying down. So finding yourself lying down, either planting your feet on the floor or having the legs extended away from you, just take a few moments to sort of settle into this position. Eyes can be closed or open. Don't worry about looking at the screen. Just focusing in on my voice and my words. So to just help us ground ourselves a little bit more, you're just going to take an inhale through the nostrils. And exhale out of the mouth. Head out of sigh if you want. We'll go again. Just one more. Then returning to normal breath in and out of the nose. We're going to go through a body scan to ground ourselves in our practice. A little bit more in ourself, both physically and mentally. So just drawing your attention to the crown of your head. To your jaw, to your face to your forehead, to the mind. Observing how everything is feeling, physically first of all. Are we clenching the jaw, holding any tension there? Are we holding a frown or a smile or any other facial expression? If so, can we encourage it to just soften and not hold anything? For looking at where we are, perhaps mentally and emotionally. Where is our mind? Where are our thoughts? How are we feel? And through all this observation, trying not to judge how we're feeling, it doesn't matter, we're just observing how we are. And trying not to hold any kind of major attachments to that space. Then we just observe and we move on. So drawing it down towards our neck, our shoulders, down the arms, all the way to the fingertips. Again, physically, do you feel like you're holding any tension in this space? Maybe the shoulders. Can you encourage them to soften and feel the support of the ground a little bit more? And then maybe you start to notice if there's any emotion in this area. It could manifest in ways like a tight throat or shoulders that just want to creep up to the ears. And just observe, be mindful. Travel this awareness all the way down to the fingertips. And then bring your awareness back towards your chest, to your heart to your lungs, to your belly. How quickly may the heart be going? How is the breath moving the body, the pace of the breath? And then looking out, feeling any emotion here, what's going on? Maybe there's some sort of heaviness, or maybe there's lightness, somewhere in between. Again, we just observe to understand ourselves in this present moment a little bit more, to ground ourselves here. And then taking it down towards the hips, the legs, the shins, down to the feet. Seeing if you can find maybe a little bit more heaviness here, the ground supporting the back of the hips, the low back down to the heels. Maybe the legs are feeling tired or sore, whatever it is. 
and a lot of us can hold maybe emotion or trauma in the hips. I'm just observing, seeing what's going on here. Whether once again we can allow the support of the ground to hold us as we ground ourselves in the awareness of the self. Now sort of looking at the body as a whole, trying to maybe pinpoint different sensations in terms of the physical body and the emotional body. Now when you're ready, we're going to start to bring some movement in. So again, inhale through the nose, exhaling out of the mouth. We'll go two more times. You can let out a yawn, you can let out a sigh. Or it can be quiet. And keeping the eyes closed, just start to wriggle your fingers, wriggle your toes. Maybe roll into the wrists, the ankles. You can start to shift your hips right to left gently. Before reaching the arms above your head and the feet extend away from you. Really trying to point the toes as if you're waking them up. In bed in the morning, you take that nice full body stretch. And you're just going to release your hands directly above your shoulders. You can gently bring the eyes open. And we're going to release the feet above the hips and just give everything a little bit of a gentle shake. Shaking making everything feel soft then hug your knees into your chest you're just going to first of all let yourself rock side to side cool so we're going to come into a lying figure four position first of all so if you take your left foot down to the ground the knee is going to be bent just start by hugging the right knee into your chest and just allow some small circular movements to come into your right hip and change direction as well. Now when you're ready, your right ankle is gonna cross on top of your left knee. I'm slowly gonna allow the right knee to move away. So we create this kind of figure four shape or lying pigeon pose. And when you're ready, you're gonna lift your left foot off the ground, interlace the hands around the back of the left thigh. And you can start to maybe gently rock side to side if it feels good, or you can hug the knees in closer to your body depends on how you're feeling, particularly into the glutes and the hips, what kind of feedback you might be getting. So find some stillness, we're just going to straighten up that left leg, you're going to point the toes, flex the toes and point them again, and then take the heel back down to your bum. So just finding a little bit of movement for the hamstrings into the calf. So we straighten the leg as much as we like, we point, flex, point, and then release. We'll go two more times to extend, point, and release. Okay, last one. And releasing. This time we'll swap the legs over. So take the right foot down to the ground. The leg is still bent. Holding the left knee. Start to take it through some circular movements. First of all. Changing direction. Just again mobilizing into your left hip. And then when you're ready, cross the left ankle above the right knee. Lifting the right foot off the we're holding the back of the right thigh. Start by rocking side to side, hugging the knees in more. Again, whatever feels good. This side might respond totally different to the previous one. So it's up to you to adjust, listen to your body's needs. Cool. And then again, let's straighten up the right leg as much as we want to point, flex, point the toes, and then release the heel back down. Again, extend, point, flex, point, and release. We'll go two more times, extending, point, flex, point, all the way back down. And last time, and then release. Okay, so you're going to hug both knees into your chest this time. Slow rock side to side, and we're going to come into a spinal twist. So take both knees down towards the right hand side. You can put a pillow underneath, if you, underneath your knees if you like. Holding the knees of the right hand, extend your left arm away from you. Now your job is to breathe into the left side of the body, so left rib cage, left chest. 
feeling that expansion there. The twist happens into the upper spine. We'll go one more breath here. And slowly bring the knees back to center and then over to the other side. So knees down to the left. Hold it with the left hand, extend the right arm away from you. And again, it's your job to breathe into the right side, the right chest, the right rib cage. Go one more breath here. And then slowly come all the way back to the middle. Up to you how you want to come to seated. You can rock up and down, you can roll over to one side, or you can plant your hands and push yourself all the way up. Cool. So when we get here, feel free to sit on your pillow, feel free to sit on your block. I'm going to go ahead and sit on the block just to give myself a little bit more elevation. Cool, so as we get here, let's start by moving into the neck. So we're going to take our palms by our side, roll the shoulders back and down, try to have shoulders over your hips so you're in a nice neutral position. So your fingers nice and spread out, drop your chin to your chest first of all. Then look across towards your right palm. Keep the left shoulder relaxed. Take right ear, right shoulder. Breathe in. And circle the head behind you. Left ear, left shoulder. Again, breathe in. Look down to left palm. Chin to your chest. And then looking all the way up. Cool, we'll go the other way. Chin drops down again. Look across to your left hand. Keep the right side relaxed, left ear, left shoulder, circle the head behind, take right ear, right shoulder, look down towards right palm, chin comes back to your chest, and then looking all the way forward. Give the fingers a little wriggle, give the wrist a little roll through. Okay, so from here we're going to take the right fingertips down to the floor. You can walk them away further or you can keep them in tighter, whatever feels good. Take an inhale, you're going to reach your left hand up first of all. And then exhale, lean towards the right side. So again, you can keep the right hand relatively close to the body or you can walk it away and maybe find perhaps a little bit more depth if it feels good but we're trying to find this expansion, this movement of the body into the left side. As you're here, I really like to find this movement as well. You can start to rotate your left shoulder forwards as you start to bring and face the right hand and then reopen towards the left side, sort of setting yourself back into the original position. And just finding perhaps a bit of a flow here, it's just quite nice to move into your thoracic spine in this kind of way. Maybe bring some more movement. Cool. And slowly come all the way back to our starting position. Push through the right hand. We'll take left hand down to the ground. So inhale, right hand reaches up. Then exhale, walking away as you lean to the left hand side. Breathing into the right side first of all. And then bring that movement by drawing the right shoulder forwards and then opening up. Taking your time. Moving if it feels good, if it's accessible. Okay. And then take your time to come back to that side bend and then bring yourself all the way back through centre. Okay, forward fold. We're going to walk the fingertips away as far as you would like to go and drop the chin to your chest, trying to breathe down the back of the body. It doesn't matter how far we fold right now. But again, if you want to draw some movement in, little movements side to side, little sways, maybe as the moments go on, you find a little bit more depth if it feels good. But most importantly, we breathe. And then slowly walking yourself all the way back up. Okay, so for this one, I'm just going to turn side on so you can see what it looks like. We are going to interlace the hands behind our back. Roll your shoulders back and down, try to squeeze your shoulder blades together. And we take an inhale to start to lift the chest, lift the ribcage away from the hips. Maybe we lift the hands away from the lower back and we're slowly looking up. So we're finding nice deep control, breaths moving down the front of the body. If you would rather interlace the hands, take them behind your head. As you find that lift, please feel free. It's actually a little bit more comfortable for me personally. <laughs> then again, you can gently sway side to side if it feels good. 
And then slowly start by bringing your chin back to your chest, releasing the hands back down to your knees. Okay, beautiful. So you can remove your block and we're going to come into a tabletop position. So stacking your shoulders over your wrists, maybe having the toes touch, just take a moment, start to rock your body weight side to side. A little bit of movement into the shoulders, into the hips. And then you're going to turn your thumbs to face forward so your wrists start to face one another and we'll continue with this rocking side to side. So we're loading into the hands, into the fingertips, just getting a nice old stretch to the inside of the wrists, the forearms. Cool. And then from here you're going to shift the weight back into your heels, taking your hands in front of you so your right palm faces up and take it down and gently pull back on that right hand with the left just so we find maybe a bit of a stretch down the forearm area instead there's a little bit of a counter movement and then release shake it out left palm faces up then take it down gently pulling back with the right hand and again just breathing here cool when you're ready release coming back forwards into your tabletop as you are here, finding any kind of movement on all fours that feels good. So things like some spinal articulations, maybe moving through some cat cows, maybe twisting, looking down towards your heels, maybe finding some sort of circular movements in the spine, almost as if you are using a hula hoop. Or maybe you spend some time working your way into the wrists, into the shoulder blades, into the scapula. So the point of this is just to give you maybe a little bit more autonomy over your body and your practice. You tap into the needs that you need and you respond. Okay, so finding some stillness again, coming back to tabletop, we're gonna work ourselves down into puppy pose. So maybe have your pillow or your block to hand if you would like. You're gonna keep the lower body exactly as it is. So keep the hips over the knees. You're going to start to walk the hands out in front of you, push into the heel of the hands, slowly allowing the chest to lower towards the ground. Now you go as deep as you like, you can maybe take the block in between the hands and let your forehead rest down on it or maybe the chin. And if you're feeling maybe a little bit unstable in the shoulders, don't go as deep, but try to really press into the heel of the hand so you start to switch on the muscles that would help support the shoulder joint. Either way, whilst we're here, breathing nice and deep. Relaxing that central nervous system. Keeping the hips nice and high. Beautiful. Okay, we'll go one more breath here. And then slowly, slowly walking ourselves all the way back upwards into tabletop before sinking down into child's pose. So you can untuck the toes, let the heels connect to the glutes, forehead to the floor, gently swaying side to side. So we're just going to go through some sort of more controlled movements for the spine, perhaps linking up child's pose through tabletop into either sphinx or cobra, whatever we fancy. So you connect the hands to the floor, inhale, start to roll up into your tabletop position, bringing shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, and then nice and slow, you're gonna bring your body weight further forwards over the wrists, let the hips slowly lower to the floor, and push through the hands, lift the chest. If you would rather go all the way down and lift up either into baby cobra or sphinx, that is totally fine. Breathing here for a moment or two, and then release, press back to tabletop, back into your child's pose. Let's do it two more times. So inhale, roll forwards, tabletop. Shoulders over your wrists, slowly let the hips lower to the ground, squeezing and expanding. Keep pushing the feet to the floor. And then again, slowly reversing all the way back. Let's go one more time. Inhale, rolling. Moving yourself forwards. Maybe instead of just looking straight, you tilt the head all the way up. And then send it all the way back to child's pose. Okay, 
When you're ready, pop back up into your tabletop position. This time we are going to come into a gate pose. I'm going to turn side on. You're going to extend your right leg away from you. So the arch of the foot is in line with the knee. And you're just going to start to rock backwards and forwards. Sort of tapping into the inner thigh. Now as you rock, feel free to peel the toes off the ground if it feels like you want perhaps a different sensation. Whatever feels good. Cool. And then slowly, slowly coming all the way back to center. Push through the hands. You're going to take an inhale. Open the right hand up to the right side, reaching up through those fingertips. And then on your exhale, you're going to throttle this right hand behind the left wrist. So bend the left elbow. Let the right hand go behind. Come down to the shoulder as much as feels good. And then inhale, push through. Once again, opening up to the right side. Exhale to threadle the hand down. Okay, we're going to do it one more time, but find a hold. So inhale, reach up, keep pressing through, spreading the fingertips off the top hand, holding here for a moment. And then once again, threadling all the way down, staying here. Maybe you wrap your left hand around your back. One more breath. And then take your time to just come back to planting the right hand down to the ground. So from here, we're going to come into a kneeling lunge. So that right foot is going to replace the right hand. So bringing it forwards. And then from there, pushing through, coming all the way up to a kneeling position. Okay, lovely. From here, we're going to take the right hand down onto our knee. And we're going to take with the left hand, make a little C or like a Lego man hand. Feel free to put a pillow underneath your left knee if you fancy. So this hand, keeping that C shape, is going to start to travel behind us as far as we feel comfortable. We're going to drop our chin to our chest and then take our right ear to our right shoulder. Now as you do, you might be getting some feedback going down the left side of your neck into the shoulder, down into the fingertips of the left hand. So maybe you move the head around or maybe you move the left arm, whatever feels good. So this is working into some of our nerves. Cool, let's go for one more breath here, whether we're moving or we're still. And then bring the head back to neutral, release the left hand, take it onto the hip, right hand behind the head, and just slowly drop the chin to the chest. So breathing down the back of the neck. One more breath here. And then slowly lifting the head all the way up. Okay, we're going to plant the hands to the inside of the right leg. And just lift the left knee off the ground. Maybe shuffle that foot a little bit further behind. And we'll just rock backwards and forwards a little bit. Working into the posterior chain of the left leg. So from the glutes down to the heel. And then when you're ready, coming back to stacking shoulders over the wrist. Let your left knee come back down to the floor. And you can either stay here in lizard pose if it feels good, or if you wanted maybe something a little bit more for the left thigh, the left hip flexors, you can start to bring that left heel towards your bum. Now you can stay in this position, or you can reach around with a right hand to maybe connect hand to foot, create a little bit of resistance between the two, a bit of rotation into your chest. Again, Plenty of choice. See what your body needs. How it responds to different movements. Okay, we'll go one more breath here. And then wherever you are, gently allow the left leg to come back down to the ground. Push to the hand, stepping back with the right leg, coming into tabletop again. Okay, let's go to the other side. So extend your left foot away from you. Arch of the foot is in line with that knee, and we'll start by again, rocking backwards and forwards. Feel free to lift the toes off the ground, open up through perhaps the inner thigh a little bit more. Again, this side will feel totally different, so try not to just go automatically to what you did last time. See what this side truly needs. Okay. So back to some stillness, push through the right hand, inhale, open the left hand all the way up to the left side, breathing and rotating. 
Then on your exhale, you're going to take the left wrist behind the right hand. So bend right elbow, let the shoulder come down. Again, inhale to open. And exhale to threadle. We'll go one more time with a little bit longer in each pose. Inhale, opening, staying here. Keep pressing through the bottom hand. And then exhale, threadle, staying here for a little bit longer. Maybe you wrap the right hand around your back. Cool. When you're ready, pushing through the hands, coming all the way back, so shoulders stack over the wrist. Left foot replaces the left hand as we step it forwards. Feel free to take that pillow underneath the right knee and coming all the way out to low lunge. Okay, left hand to the knee, right hand makes that little Lego man hand. You start to take it behind you as far away as it feels comfortable as it wants to go. Try to keep the arm as straight as you can. Drop the chin down to your chest and then take left ear, left shoulder. And again, as you are here, any movement into the head, any movement into the arm, what kind of feedback are you getting on this side? Breathing here, stabilizing with the lower body to keep yourself balanced as you move through the head. Cool. And then when you're ready, release the hand, bring the head back to neutral. Right hand is gonna to go to your hip, left hand to the back of your head, slowly draw the chin to your chest. Breathing down the back of the neck. One more breath here. And then release, looking forwards, plant your hands to the inside of the front leg. You're gonna lift your right knee off the floor, shuffle that foot away a little bit. And again, we'll just start by rocking backwards and forwards. Cool. When you're ready, restacking shoulders over the wrist, let the right knee come back down to the ground. If you're happy in this variation of lizard, stay here if you feel good. Or you can start to bring your right heel towards your right butt cheek. Again, maybe you stay here or you can reach around with the left hand and maybe take hold of the foot or just stay reaching. Again, wherever you are, finding the breath, finding the activation into the muscles that support the hips, so thinking glutes. Good, let's go for one more breath here. And then slowly allowing yourself to come back where the right toes are down to the ground. And we're gonna step back with the left foot into our tabletop position before dropping the bum, swiveling the legs around the front and we'll find ourselves in a seated pose. Okay, so from here, if you wanted to grab your pillow or you wanted to grab your block and sit on it, please feel free. But we're going to come into a straddle position. Now, straddle is not super comfortable for a lot of us so feel free to either be here or you can take a butterfly stance where the soles of the feet come together and you decide how close you want the heels to be or how far away either way we're going to take a fold <laughs> so nice deep inhale just to set up and then exhale walk your fingertips away folding as deeply as you want to go again it doesn't really matter how deep we come into this pose Maybe you get to a point where you can rest your forehead down onto your brick, or you can take elbows down and then rest like your chin into your hands. You can even do this in the butterfly pose as well. Again, just see how your hips kind of respond to this position. And as we are here, we're just going to breathe. Maybe you close down your eyes so you can draw your focus to what your body is talking to you about in terms of the physiological kind of sensations to what's going on in your mind. If you come back to when we started class and we were going through the body scan, a lot of us can hold emotions, memories or past traumas in our hips. So maybe it might be worth checking in with yourself here. Okay, let's go for two more breaths. And take your time, blink the eyes back open, slowly start to bring the spine back to neutral. If we're in the butterfly pose, just use the hands to lift the knees together. If we're in the straddle, just slowly walk them all in. Okay, 
So you can sit off your block. We're going to extend the legs away from us nice and straight and then taking the left foot to the inside of the right thigh. You can have a pillow or a block underneath your left knee, but we're going to come to a forward fold. So just inhale, reaching the hands up. And then exhale, walking them forwards, either side of the right leg, fold as deep as you would like to go. Maybe the knee bends. Breathing down the back. Take one more breath like this. And then inhale as you bring yourself all the way up. We're going to change your position ever so slightly. So you're going to start to turn your chest to face the left knee. Right hand goes to the inside of the leg. Inhale, we reach left hand up. And exhale, we slowly start to lean towards the right leg. So we're going to explore two more sort of variations with the legs in this kind of position. So breathing into the left side. Take one more breath. And then inhale, you're going to come all the way up. Take your left hand directly behind you. Your right hand is going to go over the left knee and we're slowly twisting towards the left. Try to still keep both butt cheeks on the ground and we're only twisting just a little bit, only as much as our breath will allow. So we're going for one more breath here. And then you're going to start to ground down properly through the left hand. Push into the right heel, the left knee. Lift the hips with the right hand reaching to the back of your mat. So breathing into your chest, into your belly. Allowing the head to maybe move. And then slowly coming all the way down. Releasing the feet out in front of you. Giving them a little shake. Okay, just before we come onto the other side, we're going to come to a little hybrid pose of fish. So you're going to plant those hands behind you, fingertips face forwards. They're going to be a little bit further behind your hips. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Point the toes, lift the chest away from the arms and slowly tilting the head back. Breathing here into the front of the body. One more breath. And then chin comes all the way back to your chest, walking yourself forwards again. Okay, so we're going to do the other side, taking right foot to the inside of the left thigh. Again, you can put the pillow underneath. We take an inhale, reach the hands up. And then exhale, walking the hands forwards as you begin to fold. Bend the knee if you need. You can look forwards or you can look down to the legs. Again, completely up to you. Let's go for one more breath here. And then as you come all the way up, we're going to start to turn the chest towards the right knee. Left hand goes down to the inside of the leg. Inhale, reach right hand up. And exhale again, slowly start to lean. Focusing on breathing all the way down the right side of the body. Trying to find support for the hips by again engaging the glutes on the right side. We'll go one more breath. Then we inhale, come all the way up. Take the right hand directly behind you. Take the left hand over that right knee. Start to twist round to the right side. Again, only twist as much as your breath will allow. Focusing on keeping the spine nice and upright. We're not collapsing into the back hand. And both butt cheeks onto the floor. Let's go one more breath here. And then when you're ready, ground down properly through the right hand, press into right knee, left heel, lift the hips, left hand reaches back, breathing through the chest. Going one more breath here. And then slowly circling all the way down, releasing the legs in front, maybe give the wrist a little shake. Okay, so proper fish pose. <laughs> You're going to take your hands down by your side and slowly lower down onto your forearms, onto your elbows. Push through the elbows, squeeze shoulder blades together, lift the chest, point the toes and then slowly tilt the head behind you. So usually practice this pose with your head on the floor, please feel free. But really driving through the elbows to find that lovely kind of opening or sensation into your pecs, into your chest. Taking one more breath here. 
And then draw your chin back to your chest, lowering all the way down, flat on your back, lifting your feet up so we create an L base, so feet directly above the hips. Maybe you just give them a little shake, maybe you move the legs through kind of different positions, like butterfly or straddle or eagle. Again, we're just sort of allowing the legs to move with gravity. And then when you're ready, you come back to hugging your knees to your chest, rocking yourself side to side. And come the last little pose for happy baby. So draw the knees to the armpits. Feet go up to the sky. Hold the feet, the ankles, the calves, wherever. And just allow yourself maybe rock or find stillness or change up the position of the legs let's go for one more breath here and then when you are ready hugging your knees back to your chest rolling over to right or left side slowly bring yourself up to a comfortable seat and we'll just go ahead and sort of reground ourselves before coming out of practice so take your hands to your laps close down your eyes and just taking a moment to give some thanks to your body for practicing for any introspection for listening to its needs knowing that this space is always here for you to feel and experience whatever is going on in your mind and in your body. So if you'd like, you can take your palms together at your heart and raise them thumbs to your lips and to your forehead and back down to the heart space. Namaste. When you're ready to come back, rub the palms, build up some heat. Take hands over your eyes and come back when you're ready. So, so thank you so much for practicing along with me. I really hope you enjoyed this gentle and grounding sequence. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos. And I will see you next time.